I think the question that people will think is, is this a joke? <laughs> I'm trying to think of why people would think it's a joke, I guess. We have this idea that things that are familiar are well known. All the simple questions are actually really tough. How does a person breathe? How does a person walk? And in this paper, we want to understand how animals urinate. In addition to scouring the world's number one repository of animal urination videos, YouTube, who and his colleagues did field work. And for that, we had to catch the urine by hand. And the more you lose, the less accurate your measurement is. They did lab work. That's probably the first time anyone's filmed a rat urinating in history. They modeled urine flow. The equations are also <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, there's a lot of P's in this paper. And arrived at a new biological theory. The law of urination states that Almost all animals, no matter how big they are, from a dog who has a, about a pound of urine all the way up to an, an elephant. With 40 pounds of urine. Will empty their bladders in the same amount of time, 15 seconds to 30 seconds. That's right. Across the animal kingdom, if you're starting with a bladder about two thirds full, pee time is constant. Even for elephants, which are draining the equivalent of 50 soda cans in those 30 seconds. Oh, I think they came up with ways to eject it really efficiently so they could avoid getting eaten by other predators. What allows this to happen is this magical pipe that has been called the urethra. Here's an analogy. There's this force you feel at the bottom of a swimming pool. That's the force of the fluid above you. That force appears at the bottom of the urethra too. The urine piles up on these droplets at the bottom. The weight of that liquid pushing down helps propel your pee. And that's why the pipe is so important. The pipe basically acts to increase the forces on the urine. The more liquid you have piled up vertically, the more force you'll have pushing down on those drops at the bottom, assuming there's gravity anyway. If you had a space version of Noah's Ark and all the animals had to pee, they would pee probably at very different amounts of time because they don't have gravity any longer. And like with most scientific laws, there are exceptions. For example, there's a beagle that um, on YouTube has eaten an entire watermelon. <laughs> and it urinates for an entire minute. Extreme behaviors will affect pee time, and it doesn't hold for animals less than a few pounds. Mice and rats and bats. As you get smaller, which forces are important become different. In rats, which have bladders the size of thimbles, gravity is negligible in the pee process, says David Hu. It's bladder pressure that pushes the urine out. But there's also a resisting force because their urethras are so skinny. Fluid doesn't like to rub against walls, and you have more of that when you get small. And so for these tiny animals... It seems like they only urinate with some difficulty. They can't produce a jet, they just produce little urine marbles. That was really amazing. And if urine marbles amaze you too, then you are the target audience for this paper. I've asked the question of how long does an elephant urinate to a lot of people, including top scientists, and they don't, they don't really have a good answer. And it's always, I think it's, I think it's surprising that it takes the same amount of time. So I guess we'll see how, it, how it's received. But I definitely know um, everyone under age 10 will probably think this is pretty cool.